When you combine pseudo class selectors with form elements, you can create amazing things. So the first pseudo class selector that we will see in this video is the checked pseudo class selector. It works with radio buttons, check boxes, or the option in the select element, and lets us control any element that is checked. For example, here I have a checkbox in my HTML document. So what will happen when I add this rule? So let's see what we have here. We're using the attribute selector and we're looking for any input with the type of checkbox. Then when this input is checked, we target all of its paragraph siblings using the tilde combinator. We saw how we can use attribute selectors in the attribute selector section and combinators in the combinator section. You can always come back to these sections for a quick refresh. So now with the checked pseudo class, we were able to control our elements based on the state of the checkbox. And trust me, this is really powerful. There are a lot of things that you can do with this. So let's move to the next point. With HTML5, we have HTML5 web forms. And there are many pseudo class selectors that you can use to control them. Like you have the valid, invalid, required, optional, and more. So let's see these pseudo class selectors in action. We have inputs here between 15 and 20 and we have added this following styling to our CSS. The value pseudo class selector will be applied if the value entered is between 15 and 20, meaning if it is a valid value. Otherwise, the invalid pseudo class selector will be applied. Then the required pseudo class selector targets any element that has a required attribute and optional any element that does not have a required attribute. So there are a lot of pseudo class selectors that you can use with forms for a full list, you can refer to this website.